Good morning, Rod. I uh, received from five seeds from Hawaii. My son came back from Hawaii in the year 2000 with five little bird of paradise seeds to which I planted. And as time went on, I gave a few away, and this is what I have left. Uh, this will be 14 years that I've had it, because that's January. And it has bloomed three times since I've had it. This is the first time we've had this amount of blossoms on it. They're very, very beautiful flower, and uh, Rod is here uh, taking some pictures for me. So they're blooming just now? Like, is this a... Prime they bloom time whenever they feel like it. Actually, uh, from what I can gather, in nature, they'll bloom twice a year. Okay. Uh, these are in an environment that I'm even surprised they're still growing. Because yeah. I have no idea how I'm supposed to grow them or look after them. They yeah. just do what they do. Yeah, they are a tropical plant. Yes. I, I checked yes. on YouTube, and um, so uh, it's pretty nice to see these. Well, I put it outside in the summertime. If it's if it's not windy, mm -hmm. I'll put them outside in a sheltered area. Right. Okay. So. Well, thank you. You're welcome. This plant is uh, called Bird of Paradise. Latin name is Stralizia regina. It is a cousin to the banana plant in South Africa. Uh, surprisingly. These plants are easier to grow than many tropical plants. The plant is a vigorous, rapidly growing indoor plant. Here are some still shots of the uh, plant in the early stages of blooming. This uh, plant is uh, amazing to watch. You can see the, uh, the new bloom starting to appear uh, right uh, along the the spike there and uh, it, it took a lot of hours of uh, time lapse there's uh, one of the first blooms to come pop up and that spike there is called a space and that is there to as a, as a pollinator for this plant there is a bird in South Africa which is called the sunbird and uh, they use the space as a perch and the weight of the bird when standing on the space opens it to release the pollen onto the bird's feet, which is then deposited onto the next flower. The sunbird is about the size of a hummingbird. You can see there, there is two spaces which are look like arrows, the dark uh, colored ones, and uh, that's the perch that the bird will sit on. This one has just uh, popped up uh, one flower. You can see this thin flower coming towards the space there, and then the rise of the flower to pop out, and there's the two. They always put three flowers each time they, they have a bloom, and there's the other space in behind coming up now along the spike. They can have as many as up to eight or nine uh, individual uh, blooms out of that one large spike there. So uh, this is uh, quite an amazing plant. This is showing the, the time lapse again of the flower starting to rise out of that uh, the spike. Uh, I had the camera set at uh, one frame per 10 seconds. So in about 12 hours of uh, time lapse, I would get two minutes of actual film. So it's a pretty uh, long uh, process that we had to go through.
this was the uh, fourth bloom on this plant uh, starting to happen. You can see the one petal starting to rise and uh, it will pop up here in a few seconds. And the other petal, two petals starting to come up underneath it. And uh, what happened here? There it goes. Then the two petals and then the space right there behind them. So that's four space there now which is four blooms. Rod has been photographing this bird of paradise for over a month now and it is coming near the end of its blooming period so I'm just here to say that it was a wonderful experience. Rod and I both had fun putting this together. It was fun, it was interesting, it was educational and really, really a joy to watch. And I think we both have learned a lot from the blooming of this plant and a little bit of research to uh, get some information on it. So I thank you very much, Louise. You're welcome. I'm so happy that you phoned me uh, to come and, and have a look at this and go through this experience.